Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We saw some more pink being represented out there in the stands for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Glad to see those. We're going to be seeing a lot more of those from all of those fans. But we had a, we have a little short foray block yeah. for you guys. We do have one big highlight for you, so one highlight matchup coming from Perryton and Bushland. And this is a big matchup because Perryton played a close game last week. Bushland, finally fully healthy, had suffered through a lot of injuries this year. Get a lot of guys back this week, but... We'll have to see how that plays out. Here it is in the second quarter. Look at that run. That's right. Will Cater, a 35-yard touchdown run as Perryton had it going early later. On the ensuing kickoff, though, Gage Clymer. Check this out. A nice return at his own 30 and takes it 70 yards to where, Brianna? He's climbing his way back to the house. I mean, <laughs> I'm just shocked with how corny that was. <laughs> Caden Somerville takes the handoff for Perryton. Whoop! There it is. <laughs> Boy, had Crisco on his back or something. 50 yards for the touchdown. He's into the end zone. Final possession of the half. Perryton with the ball in the red zone. They're going to hand off to Henry Torres, and he's going to take it seven yards into the end zone. Check out the final on this one. Perryton with a statement victory. 40-point winner, 61 to 21. Now, well, let's check out a score here. The Pampa Harvester is coming up short to hatch. Team out of New Mexico, 41 to 34. And Pampa starting district play next week. That's right. And uh, remember, Pampa already in the postseason. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just more momentum carrying them with that game tonight against that New Mexico team. Yeah, you got to love that loophole. Top four teams in each district make the playoffs. Only four teams in Pampa's district. So... Nonetheless, they still want to be district champions. That is certainly a goal of theirs. We talked to Coach Greg Pointer over the summer at Summer Celebration. He said, we don't care that we're in the playoffs. We want to win the district. And uh, they can begin that journey next week in week eight. So they're ha they have a lot on their plate moving forward. They're going to have to put this loss out of their heads and just move forward as they Good get ready. Good to have a, a, a tough opponent, right. though, before district to get them prepared. Well, and you know, no one likes to lose, but a loss no. is not always bad. Yeah. Yeah, a lot to learn, look back at the film, see what they can improve on. Exactly, and we'll have to see how that plays out again starting next week. Well, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a look at Game of the Week one more time. We're also going to show you all the highlights from 5A, talk about where they sit in the standings after tonight. We had an overtime game between two district unbeatens. We got highlights from that game. So don't go anywhere. Lots to cover, lots to talk about. Stick with us. You're watching the wrap-up on News Channel 10. -2.